Coming up on Science News Weekly, we're talking about reflecting on the moon, giant fossils, and a few more eggs. That's up next on Science News Weekly. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Science News Weekly with Dr. Kiki, episode number three, recorded on Thursday, March 1st, 2012. Signs of Life. It's March 1st, 2012, and this is the science that made headlines this week. Astronomers at the European Southern Observatory have confirmed that there is life on Earth by observing reflected light from the moon. The technique is a modification to Earthshine observation. It's called spectropolarimetry. It involves looking at both color and polarization of light from the Earth after being reflected by the moon. The team was able to confirm that the Earth has a cloudy atmosphere and is covered in part by oceans and vegetation. They foresee it being used moving forward to investigate exoplanets for signs of life. The World Wildlife Fund reported that several U.S. supermarkets carry toilet paper and tissue products, which are directly linked to rainforest deforestation in Indonesia. The products are sold under the brand names Paseo and Livy and are owned by Asia Pulp and Paper, or APP. It is estimated that since 1984, APP and its affiliates have pulped close to 5 million acres of tropical forest on the island of Sumatra. Stem cells were isolated from human ovaries and used to create egg cells in the lab. Following on the heels of work showing that viable egg cells could be produced from the stem cells of adult mice, the study used donated human reproductive stem cells to make human egg cells that appear viable. However, since fertilization of human reproductive cells is against the law in the United States, viability is as yet unknown. The groundbreaking study by researchers at Massachusetts General Hospital promises to revolutionize infertility treatments of the future. For the first time since its discovery in 1977, paleontologists have completely reconstructed the skeleton of a 25 million year old penguin from the genus Kairuku. The study is published in the Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology and described a giant yet slender penguin four feet two inches tall with long flippers and a long narrow beak. These ancient birds once lived on the island of New Zealand. Giant fleas were found among fossils in China and Mongolia, dating back to the mid-Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. Nine species in total, the fossilized insects share many traits with modern fleas, but had unique traits, including long claws that might have been used to hang on to fur or feathers, and sturdy mouth parts for stabbing and siphoning. Mm, yummy. Genetic sequencing of the remains of the Iceman named Otzi is allowing scientists to tell a further story, a fuller story about the mysterious man. The details published in Nature Communications suggest that Otzi had brown eyes, type O blood, was likely lactose intolerant as an adult, had cardiac disease risk factors, as well as traces of Lyme disease. So he was pretty sick. And he can be traced to the people of Sardinia in the Mediterranean. Research published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences finds that an asexual species of flatworm overcomes aging by increasing the activity of an enzyme named telomerase. Strangely, similar flatworms that reproduce sexually also appear to reproduce indefinitely, but don't seem to have the same telomerase mechanism in place, making the researchers wonder if the sexual worms use an as-yet-unknown mechanism to fight aging. In an updated analysis of the T-Rex skull, biomechanics researchers conclude that the T-Rex still holds the record for the most powerful bite. 
After laser scanning a T-Rex skull from the Manchester Museum, the scientists created a 3D model onto which they mapped muscles. By simulating a bite in the model, they were able to estimate the force used or produced when the jaws shut. The maximum forces measured were between 30,000 to 60,000 newtons. It's pretty forceful. The American Society of Microbiology writes that a team from the Translational Genomics Research Institute have traced the history of MRSA strain ST398. Using whole genome sequencing, they found MRSA ST398 started in humans jumped to pigs, where it gained methicillin resistance, and then jumped back to humans. This is conclusive evidence that farm use of antibiotics does affect drug resistance in bacteria that can affect human health. Australian scientists created the world's first atomic transistor from a single atom of phosphorus positioned on a silicon crystal. The development is being hailed as an important step in the development of the quantum computer. Again, now IBM reports to the American Physical Society that it has broken three records in their attempts to create qubits with integrity, bringing quantum computers just a little closer to reality. In several papers, IBM researchers describe a three-dimensional superconducting qubit uh, setup approaching the minimum standards required for quantum computing. And scientists at IBM Research Zurich imaged the charge distribution of a single molecule for the first time using a technique called Kelvin probe microscopy. The team measured the charge on the molecule naphthalocyanine in a, such a way as to determine the positions of electrons within the molecule. And that does it for the science news headlines this week. Let me know what you think about these news stories or tell me what you think should be news by emailing drkiki at drkiki.tv or leave me a voicemail 650-741-KIKI. To watch the full episode of Dr. Kiki Science Hour, head over to twit.tv slash kiki. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>